Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Stock Apples Jack here, bringing you a brand new video. And today, we are going to be discussing Cyberlux Corporation SCYBL. And as you can see, currently sitting at a price of 0 0.0121. Looking at the authorized shares, still sitting at the 7 billion and 5.3 billion outstanding shares. 4.3 is held at DTC with the 3.7 billion float, which is hefty to say the least. And personally, I believe something will have to be done with that in order to substantially see the share price rise and the current market cap 60 million of course guys leave comments down below you know I, I hope it rockets but as you can see as we know we're waiting on pink current as you can see just minutes ago they tweeted quick otcm pc update number one review quarter three with otcm expected within five days file quarter three after review and file reviewed 2019 and 2020 and we're all looking forward to the pink current coming back and we're all looking forward to pink current coming back in the otc markets in short order but it seems like it's been you know some stocks have been having trouble otc stocks that is getting updated again but i fully expect it to happen it's literally under control and as you can see, this was posted on October 11th, and we all know what's on over in Ukraine again in Russia. The recent attacks in Ukraine, including the pedestrian bridge in the center of Kiev, are personal for our Cyberlux team. Pictured here, as you can see, they're literally on this in the Kiev Central Park. Of course, this you can see the picture down below where my mouse is. It was, as you can see, we'll do all we can to help more updates as allowed. A lot of this is probably confidential, and, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. And there's a nice little 40 second clip here discussing, you know, the need of drones and how Russia is using Iranian drones to attack. And as you can see, Tag the Drone Warrior was on Fox News yesterday discussing the war in Ukraine and the impact of UAS. And of course, UAS is the unmanned, unmanned aircraft solutions. And we'll get into that just momentarily before I want to discuss the quick business update they released on the 7th of October. As you can see, their team is excited to report preliminary quarter three revenue results of 8.6 million, exceeding the plan by 15.6% and quarter two to quarter three growth by 5%. We will release the official PR with the quarter three reporting soon. And we just discussed that, and they said they also expect to have both TCM and out of status soon. And they discussed that again today, just reiterating the fact. But in this case, you know, this is going to be big. And if the OTCM and, you know, the official PR comes out at the same time, discussing quarter three financials, you know, we could see a little rise in price. As you can see, ABC News had up oh, Ukrainian officials, tech companies to send more drones to the front line. They plan to spend 500,000 on about 1,000 drones. And as we just saw, Cyberlock had a personal connection with that bridge and, you know, officials over there. And as you can see, their industry, their UAS is industry leading aircraft and software solutions for military, law enforcement cinematography and racing of course military in this point you see there's two there and here's the other six for the full line of commercial consumer class capability these would be used more for the military this the business unit scope basically as you can see uas of course as you didn't notice what we're going to be discussing here today as you can see there's lots more into business units but uas is big because of the ongoing situation in ukraine but you know, basically the military grade hardware and software guidance system platform with enhanced infrared night vision, thermal sensored technology, eye in the sky monitoring, LIDAR mapping and perception. Ongoing strategic intellectual property development with Wolf Speed, of course, you know, a big company, strategic supplier technology. All this is important as we see Russia using the Iranian drones and it's giving them a big advantage. So Ukraine is looking to get some of these as well. And Cyberlux could possibly be a partner. Of course, it could. These videos are not financial advice, guys. You have to do your own due diligence. But of course, we know about UAS. They acquired Catalyst Machine Works as a cinematography drone industry leader. The Catalyst is 100% USA drone manufacturer with significant engineering and IP. And of course, it's creating new capabilities, new revenue streams for now and the future. And of course, the strategic IP and future leasing revenue streams across the Department of Defense industry. And we could be seeing more of this you know, very soon to come as we see the 2025 market size of $85 billion for UAS. That could easily substantially you know, increase because of the ongoing situations and you know, what could... What could happen? 
Again, as we discussed, 85 billion global market for UIS. That's just UIS alone. And it gives their forecasted here for 2022. 2023 is a massive potential jump. And basically, you know, it could raise even more than that with the ongoing situation. Now, quickly, this was released, I believe, last week, the shareholder update. And basically, they go over saying how they're trying to get this monitor set back going forward, you know, trying to implement everything as soon as possible with the filings because they went quiet there for a couple of months this summer. And they discuss how, you know, the pink current is coming and how important that is. And they say here, as a company built on business transparency with our shareholders, we understand that quarter three has been unusually quiet. But during that time, they've been during that time not able to make the typical business updates as you know, building their business unit requires as much stealth as possible and that makes sense over there in Ukraine and wherever they have, you know, a lot of this confidentiality. And of course a lot of shareholders are upset with why, you know, it's been so quiet and you know, I can understand that fully. But they discuss, you know, they've been working in US, Latin America and across the EU, of course, within the twenty twenty two roadmap. You know, during the last six months, they've successfully constructed a new pillar of the business, Cyberlux Defense, and they'll be providing more detail on the business unit and all the work that currently has been going on in the future and upcoming press releases. And I want a little bit, these press releases are going to be wait till pink current, of course, that's huge. As you see, while we're working on projects that cannot be disclosed yet, I will say that if we've closed on the committed revenue for the year and we look forward to being cleared to disclose the full scope of our business action going forward. And again, I'll say it again, pink current is needed for that to bring transparency and you know bring more shareholders in because the limit it does not look good and they know that so that's becoming within days quarter three filing should be coming within days you know this should only get better of course it's not financial advice guys you have to do your own due diligence i'm still in on cyberlux of course you know they do have a great team and hopefully this minor setback can get you know re-aggravated with a great quarter four coming up Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe for more content. Of course, have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching.